What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here. I think it's time to slaughter this dude. <laughs> Anybody set the handle? No. All right, you're going to be our handler. Kill that dude, would you? We are playing some Rimhammer of the End Times with the Beastmen. Where is my boy, Dan Loot? So I do need to name name this guy after a patron. I'm not going to name Dan Loot after a patron because he spawned with a patron's name. Lieutenant Dan was a patron for a long time, so I'll let that one ride. But the other guy, I like to name him after my most recent patrons. And then we jump in and just start picking people at random off the list. So Dan Quinlivan is my most recent patron. All right. Dan Q, we'll call this guy Dan Q, but we'll pronounce it Dank, which seems like a sweet beast man name. There he is. Dan has a name, a different name, that he used on <laughs> Patreon, but my internet connection is currently down, of course, because that's the world I live in, in this crappy backwater town. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we'll do some mining as well. If we expose some overhead mountain... I'm not terribly concerned about it. We'll get some Skaven infestations. Maybe we can have a Beastman versus Skaven battle. That'll be fun as well. Uh, it'd be pretty tough to be doing some some of that stuff over here. I might go and add Z levels back in, and I might also add some other mods in between now and next time. I'm gonna let them do this mining here. I like to get some walls stood up also for our new guy. I don't really like using this wood, especially with the risk of forest fire, what it is over here. I think what we'll do is we'll shrink this zone down to there, and then we'll put another door in over here. Neither of these guys are over. Space already occupied. You tell me I can't drop a door in there? Something weird when you add walls. I didn't add this wall. This comes from, I think it's more walls and floors. You notice everything looks a little cooler on the ground. That's better walls and floors making that happen. Ah, yeah, we didn't get any over a mountain. And let's go ahead and do this. Please do me a favor. If you're enjoying this, if you like the mods, want to see how this goes, leave me a like. It would be fantastic of you, and it does help me out. Leave a comment if you see things that I should really add to this, because... Uh, there's definitely a lot of stuff. We might have to go kill some critters because right now I'm going to put these critters in here, by the way. Yeah, right now we're, we have some food. I'm not really cooking meals at this point. There's a mad raccoon. I guess we can go out there and see if we can't deal with that. Oh shit, he's right there. Let's see if we can purple sun his ass. All right, we got him. We got him in our sights. <laughs> Take that, you son of a bitch. All right, there you go. We didn't even start a... F oh, shit, we did start a fire. We better get on top of that. Go put the fire out. Go put the fire out. Quickly. Oh, gosh. If this forest goes down, we're in big trouble. That's why I might start making stuff out of stone. It would be nice to get an empire pawn as a slave. We could... I don't want any corpses in here. Oh, we need to make a room to do some work. No corpses. Yes, move this guy. Dank. Haul that guy over there. Dan Loot had it, but we'll just... Whatever, it's cool. Alright, that'll get us a little more material. I'll go put the meat where it belongs. We could just exclude our critters from in there. I think I'll kill a squirrel, too. We've attracted too many animals. We need to find some more leather, man. There's still some deer over here. So we might have to go over there and go on a murder festival. Let's build a copy of this in the corner. I can deconstruct that one. Kind of blends in, but I didn't want to just use like a little basic Rimworld square. I wanted to make it somehow. Another mad squirrel. Is he close? Uh, he's about to be here. You think uh, Dank over here can take the squirrel down? Blast it. Nice work, Dank. <laughs> yeah, that dude's awesome. Fantastic. Dan Q on the job, dude. He doesn't mess around. <laughs> uh, I guess we can probably put one of these. We have, we're not going to have any issues with wood in this game, I can tell you that. So a little workroom might be in order at some point, too. 
And those guys are butchering those up. We can eat the fat if we get desperate for food. Right now, obviously that's not the case. I'm gonna expand this zone to fill up this area as best as it can. And then this stuff we can haul out of here. I'm gonna make a list of the mods I wanna add. All right, I wrote down haul plus and pick up and haul, and maybe Z levels. I don't know that I wanna get into Z levels with these guys. Definitely in my next dwarf playthrough. Next time I do a big game, that's gonna be worthwhile, but Beastmen right now don't have an end game, and that's why we're gonna try and go and destroy the chaos portal with some I mean chaos always turns on itself, right? It's not like it's completely unprecedented that that would happen. And uh once I get the Empire mod finished though, the Beastmen will get some sweet end game quests based on the Empire mod. I'll make some custom bases, and the Beastmen will have to destroy a bunch of Empire bases and I think that'll be really fun so make sure you're leaving comments on things you'd like to see added here I'm gonna take our boys and let's make sure we can cast this yeah we can okay let's go pick on those deer some more <laughs> seems like beastmen would continue picking on deer right so that dank is just here for some defense in case something bad happens like a fire starts so let's do that and let's get that guy hauled and let's get the fire put out. With two bros, we shouldn't have any problem. Let's draft up. Let's melee attack that deer. Good work. Now you both have something to haul. We should be able to build Dank a bed. Hey, what are you doing? Cloud watching. All right, they'll get it done eventually. How much material do we have? So this will be Dank's little bedroom over here. We can actually start it off by just putting that in the corner and then we'll make a copy of this over there and a copy of this chest over there it doesn't really matter which way it's facing I made made most of it just look the same just to have something in there to kind of spruce things up what we have for material we have 26 light leather what's this that's plain leather shit we're not gonna have enough yet I will get there eventually we should just move this over then so at least he gets to leverage the nightstand we're building him Venison routed away. That's all right. We just brought in a ton more. All right. So, oh shit! Looks like I have to fix that graphic, huh? <laughs> and I can tell what the issue is right now. So then again, that's why we're testing. That's why we're playing. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. That's F10. Boom. Go look in your screenshot folder. <laughs> I mean, not in yours for that screenshot, but you get the idea. All right. Let's check your magic situation. So you have some magic pool left. Can you get any... Ooh, he's got a point available. So we could go for Steel Life, which will heal this dude up if he gets injured. Manacles will slow something down. With that, we might be able to take out a Thrumbo. Wind of Death. Soul Blight. Mm, these all take one point to get. Required magic points. One, 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 and... Well, I think we'll go for... Manacles, that'll slow somebody down. A wild Cygor has wandered in. I don't imagine we have the ability to tame that dude. We could down him and capture him. He's an abrasive nudist. Cygors are pretty much good for nothing. <laughs> They'll haul. And they can deal with animals. It's pretty good at it too though. Consider he's been living in the wild. Let's do some harvesting on berries for whatever reason here. So I think we really just need to clear this stuff out, but I want to build a bed first. What if I were to kill that dude? We're only going to get 11 probably. That's not going to be enough to do the job. We could kill that Cygor. Looking for bigger game. What do these guys have for leather? So these are the goats. The leather type is plain leather. All right, let's go over there and kill those dudes. Or at least try. <laughs> Our two beast men should be able to drop a couple of those bros, right? What is that? Is that? That's marble. Never mind. All right. Uh, purple sun. I don't want to. We're going to start a huge fire here. Holy shit. Hit him spot on. All right, let's put the fire out. Let's get that guy hauled. Get it done, boys. All right, now you guys draft up again. Melee attack the other goat. All right, Dank took a wound. Dank, finish that guy off. Dank, health. 
All right, he's not in the best of shape. Hope he'll pull through for us. Dank. You gotta get that guy hauled with you. So hopefully we can build him a bed with that. I don't have any meds. I think we actually did have one medicine. Hmm, it's deteriorating for some reason. Might have got caught in a fire. There's a heat wave on. That's problematic. Beastman. All right, Dan Loot. Forget the berry bush. Are you not set the doctor at a one? Let's do the best we can with this, and let's do some cleaning as well so he doesn't get infected. And harvest botch. We're going to have to get this guy trained up to do plant work really well, so it is what it is. Feed him some raw meat. <laughs> That'll be great. Well, it's coming together, so I think we need to clear trees. It wouldn't be a bad idea. We don't actually really need to plant anything in a biome like this. Now, if we get some kind of event that prevents animals from coming, we're going to be boned, but we can always just leave. As long as we have a little bit of food to travel to another map. All right, let's double check. So we have 106 plain leather. That's fantastic. Was this plain leather? It was. All right, so we'll build that. Dank will have himself a proper bed. Another wild cyclor has wandered in. You know what to say. Man, I'm so tempted to knock one of these dudes out and imprison him. Abrasive and bisexual. The other guy was abrasive too. Saigor might just be abrasive by nature. You don't want to piss them off because they have those rocks and they do some mighty damage with those things. I can't, because of the alien races, I don't know what's going on, but I can't get the heads to appear higher in the bed. <laughs> That's all right. So both of our people have bedrooms. Oh, okay. I got to make another note. So look at my mask here. We should be covering all this stuff. So tidy up the mask there and fix that. I'm going to take another screenshot just so I can see both issues. All right, so yeah, waiting for comments on what I can do. I'm going to hold off from playing for a few days while I get at least a day or two while I get these things fixed. And we need a workroom as well, but I mean, we could just put it in here. We could shrink this zone back. We could build one of these in here. We can actually start researching as well. We could build this in here. Assuming we get our interaction spot in the right place. Then we're going to want to copy our job. Make sure it ends up in there. Paste, paste. This one we can deconstruct. And then we want a spot to put the carcasses as well. So that's a dumping stockpile. We'll do that. We'll copy this one. We'll paste our settings over there. And then we'll clean up this bedroom. Boom. Now let's check our needs. So disturbed sleep and slept in the heat. Yeah, there's a heat wave on. They're happy because the herd is strong, meaning we don't own a lot of things. When I add this furniture, it has no beauty. And it is intended just to be a space filler, something themed for beastmen. It's hot, but it's really not that hot. We could maybe do some research here. <laughs> Um, where to put stuff? Let's move this zone over and then shrink it down. We should be able to make under production. Oh, uh, we could wait. Oh yeah. I've been trying to figure out how to restrict empire. We right now, shit, we need some type of leather again. <laughs> oh, so much for that plan. Anyway, with the beast man, or the Dwarven research benches. You don't even see the Dwarven one because you don't have a Dwarf. The Empire one you shouldn't be able to build unless you have an Empire Pawn. But since I'm not using alien races to implement it, that's a problem. It I haven't been able to restrict that yet for Empire. So that's just one more thing to do. I could probably build a hide pile. We have plain leather. Let's see. Beastmen, commune hide pile, plain leather. Let's get that built. We'll deconstruct that one. Pow. There you go. Pile of hides to sit on. Do your commie. You don't need a dirt spot anymore. Do you have your needs met for magic pool? So you can force them to use it just to get completely full again as well. All right. There you go. See, they don't have squat to do it. I think in that meantime or that downtime, I guess our next bet is probably to start researching so we can preserve meat. 
We don't want to go. Uh, maybe we should go tangle with a Saigor. That might be fun. Where's that dude at? Who's closer? They're the biggest game on the map. We don't have the ability to tame them. It's probably going to get really pissed off at us if we do this. All right. Saigor revenge. <laughs> uh, Dan Loot, hit him with the manacles. Oh shit, he's coming quick. You, distract. You... Alright, that was enough to put him down. Alright, so the manacles has dropped him because he's got heat stroke and he's extremely injured. So that worked out really well. So let's finish that dude off. You can go back. We didn't even start a fire because it's raining. That's fantastic. We'll bring this guy back and butcher him up. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we go kill the other one, we'll be in fine shape to... I wonder if Dan find shape to build whatever we want in terms of our research bench we'll see what this gives us where'd he go there he is he's hauling the giant psycho i'd like to see a gore haul a psycho <laughs> and boom oh yeah we are set let's build that research bench now so production that's gore hide those guys give you all right and i didn't make this image Dino made this. He does a lot of my images. I'm not building any stools or anything until I get them added. So I think next time I'll add stools and tables. Let's take this tree out so we can actually see inside of our buildings as well. Why didn't it say chop? Chop, chop. Venison's rotting away. Yeah, once we start preserving meat. Alright, so now we can do Beastman research. I want that tree out of there so we can actually see the research bench. I don't have a south view for it right now. So, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just going to have to work. All right, Beastmen, what do we want to do? Meat preservation, shaman apparel, crew bows. We could actually do... What's going to help us? Let's do passive cooler, just in case. If this stuff happens again, we're going to want that. Cheers to the patrons. Alexander, Viking, Brandon, Cobra, Samurai, Corneo B, Dapper, Go, Dirtle, Dave, Thal... No, nope, Thalburn left me. Frederick, Henry Wallace, Natasiel, Howard Chan, Josh Grace, Michael Rickstra, Shiggy, Tyronix, Typhios, Excelsior, Chew on Disc, Garrett, Dimitri, Bob, Stephen, Shaw, Dr. Abe, Dan Quinlivan, Mike Ferrero, Hemlock. Please leave me a like. It does help me out. I very much appreciate it. I think our next goal will be get this stuff cleared out. So one issue with Beastman is... They get they get penalties for research because it's not really themey for them to be researching. He's a six. Let's go check his research speed. Probably because he's in that filthy, disgusting room. Research. Where the hell? There it is. Sixty nine percent. So his intellectual helps. His base value is ninety. Global work speed times 100%. Okay. Intellectual 77 because he's skill 6. Manipulation sight. All right. Everything else helps. All right. So he's not really seemingly getting a penalty. I think the costs are just higher. But unless it's an ancient type technology. I see the detail. I literally used an image of animal fur and just worked it in there. Yeah. This one definitely has to be fixed. Inspired trade for Dan Loot. Well, that's interesting. Let's go check our faction relations. Hmm. Yeah, that's about right for Beastman. <laughs> you can make friends with people if you play nice. If you play Beastman like, it's not going to happen, right? So before we were using hide piles for the beds, which actually work like bed rolls. We could maybe get a couple of those built. Let's see, that's 40. Let's see if we can just build a few of those and get them in storage for when we need them. Plus, it'll use up some material. All right, there you go. So then let's uninstall those. And that'll give us some bed options for other people as well. All right, the heat wave ended. We're just not in a very warm biome. We should probably get a bunch of trees chopped because we're going to need to stay warm through the winter, I suspect. Although this guy's got... A fur mantle. I'm going to take this one out too. So leave some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see added. I'm thinking table and chair are going to be next. Also, I want some ideas on recreation. I should be able to do some fun stuff with that. I wonder if I rotate this upside down. I'll just have to check. I will get this mask fixed and I will get 
these masks fixed so those things look more consistent. Like this one looks just fine. I used this image to make the cots with. And uh, yeah, it looks okay. I don't know why I don't just, I'll, I'll think I'll fix this one too. So I got some image issues to take care of. I want to add something. I think, like I said, it'll be tables and chairs. Tables and some kind of crude wooden table that kind of flows with these. Oh, shit. We might be out of food now. That harpy might be about to get the axe. <laughs> this one, I like use some barky wood on the side. These, I just found a crude wood pattern online and made it work. That looks pretty good. Anyway... I'm going to put a break in. Like I said, please leave a like. Please consider some support if you're enjoying this. You want to see where it goes. This is your chance to contribute to things that go into this mod. So leave a comment and follow the comments. And uh, I'll be responding and using what is said there to expand this mod. Why aren't, why aren't you both? You should both be doing plant work. That's it. If you have nothing to do, you do that. He's researching. I don't even know if we need to go for what we were going for for research. But either way, I appreciate you guys taking some time with me today. It's It's been fun. Maybe we'll come kill this dude. What's your magic ability like? We could do that as one final hurrah before we go. Oh, he's full. All right. You guys both just started. Let's go get that dude. He looks delicious. If he won't join us, then... Uh, Let's eat them <laughs> in true beast man fashion. I will get those couple mods added before next time. I think we should probably stand back a bit as well. I right, hit him with the manacles. Is that going to drop him again? I did not drop him that time. All right. Now what do we do? I have a He's really slow. So that's what the manacles do does. It slows him down. Ah, uh, this is a problem because he's in no immediate danger. <laughs> All right, maybe we just run away from him. How long is the manacles gonna? La are the manacles gonna last? Whatever. At least he's not shooting at us. He might not have a stone. Sometimes they spawn without a stone. All right, we can purple sun. He's back to normal speed though. <laughs> ah, shit! Dank. Break. Break off. Dan loot. Boogie. And right, we have to get him to latch onto this dude. Oh shit, he's gonna catch him. Go attack. <laughs> oh no. Run. Run. Oh, he got me. <laughs> oh no. Hit him. Oh, this is bad. These dudes are tough as nails. Good work. Bring him down. Bring him down. Alright, good. He switched to the other guy. We don't have any medicine, but we should be okay. Alright, we got melee level 2 on Dan loot. Don't get hit. Oh, his left hoof has been shattered. We have to get him a peg leg. <laughs> oh shit, he won't go down. That was a bad idea. Alright, you. Did did you get any issues? No, you finish him off. You go rest. Alright, we got it. We'll get him hauled back. Maybe we can nab a healing potion. This is going to hurt our movement significantly though. That's not good. We needed somebody with some... Did that guy have decent medical skill? No, not at all, in fact. All right, why are you just tending yourself out here in the rain, dude? He's going to be in some pain for a while. I need you to go tend this guy. All right, thanks again for watching. It's been fun. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments on what I need to add. I'll see you guys next time.